Hey everybody. Well, today we're going to take a look at this. This is the Delta Flyer from Eagle Moss, and this is the large size Delta Flyer. So uh, I absolutely always loved this ship from Voyager. It only showed up in the later seasons. Um, here you can see what the box looks like. Most of the artwork is in the front and also here on the uh, bottom and on the top here where we also get to see the Delta Flyer as well. So uh, I got this on sale uh, for the um, Black Friday sale that uh, Eagle Moss was doing, and they also had a Cyber Monday one as well. So $59 is what I paid for this. I don't remember how much it was normally, but I couldn't resist it. It was something I've been wanting to buy for a while, but I kind of didn't really want to spend the money on it. <laughs> but when they had it on sale, I couldn't resist. All right, well, let's break the tape on the uh, box here, and let's take a look at what's inside. All right, so I got the tape cut here. Um, you know, they didn't used to tape these boxes, but I guess that's something new they're doing. So let me get this open. And... Okay, so now we got the... Uh, these are those nice magazines that they give you in these sets, which are always nice to have. So uh, here, I guess we can start with this first off. All right, so let's just glance at this real quick. Looks like they got some stats on there. And, uh, ooh, that's a nice picture of it right there. You know, I don't know if they have a model of this ship. I, I think I would have known about it, and I don't know how they don't have a model of the Delta Flyer. Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> just by now, especially. I think I've seen 3D printed, um, 3D printed models of it. Ooh, look at these early conceptions of what it was going to look like right there. That's very interesting. I love how sleek this thing is. It's so cool looking. Look at all the different... Uh, I'm not sure what all of that is. I'm going to have to read all of this. But uh, yeah. There's a blow-up version of it. And... Uh, I don't know if they used any CGI back then for this. God, I love that ship. It's so cool. Yeah, I've seen 3D printed models of this, but um, I've never seen an actual kit. I would really like an actual kit of it. God, that looks so good. Oh, these are neat. That looks like the captain's yacht. Oh, yeah, you can see down here. Interesting how they never really showed the captain's yacht in either Voyager or uh, TNG. Some other stuff here as well. All right, well, that's pretty neat. I'll have to look through that. All right, well, let's take a look at the ship. All right, so back to the box now. Got the old styrofoam protecting the model. Ooh, oh, man, there it is. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Oh, wow, that's nice. That looks very nice. Oh, the, the metal, the top is on uh, metal right there. Wow, that's actually a, a little larger than I thought it was going to be. I'm really glad I didn't get the smaller one. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Wow, this is this is gloriously beautiful. Let me shut this real quick. Oh, wow, look at that. All right, we'll have to get some close-ups of the details on this. Man, this is really cool. I like the blue for the engines and the clear red right there. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Now, the bottom is... Let's see, is that? Yeah, that's plastic. The bottom's plastic. Oh, a piece of foam right here. Um, and I'm glad the top is metal. Sometimes they have more plastic than metal on these things. But in this case, this is all metal here. The whole top section of this is metal. Wow, that's really cool. All right, let me get all these foam pieces off. And <laughs> we'll take a closer look at this beauty. And here it is now on the stand. Oh, man, this thing is... This is awesome. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. It is absolutely beautiful. The detail on it is really nicely done. And maybe because it's so smooth, you know, they can kind of do the details a little better, especially back in this area. I'll get us some close-ups here in just a moment. Now, I will say uh, I've never been a big fan of these Eagle Moss stands. They're, uh, I don't know, they just seem like they're a little bit flimsy. And I also don't like sometimes the way they attach themselves in here. This this has most of the weight hanging off forward like this. And I'll show you from a side view here how it kind of, you know, you can see it pushing down on here. And I also don't like how the plastic scrapes up against the model itself. So every time you remove it or put it on, 
you feel like you're kind of scraping away at the paint or especially right in here it's right on the the decals and you know you don't want to scrape all that away but yeah i've always found those a little bit flimsy i wish they'd find a a nicer way of displaying these um in fact maybe just a flat platform for this to sit on instead of these little hook things coming over would have been better but yeah okay well let's get a close-up of this because it's it's really awesome so looking at the side here you see what i mean how i mean look how much of the ship is hanging off so all the weight is on here now, normally this connection point right here for the clear piece and the base is a little bit flimsy, although that one actually fit in nice and tight. I think I'm still gonna put a couple of drops of Gorilla Glue in there just to make sure, but you can see how this kind of goes around the whole you know, wing section over here. And uh, I don't know, I just don't trust that very much. Let me, uh, let me pull this off for a moment. I'll show you what I mean. I mean, see, look at the weight. See how it's really pulling down on that? And it slides off like that and it's it's easy enough but i don't know that's kind of a i mean this thing's got this has got some pretty good weight to it and i think this would have better served been better served to have like a flat thing for i mean see how it doesn't really fit very good you really have to push it in there just right and i can't do it one-handed here you see if i can kind of slide it back on but i mean once you do i mean see how it really pushes down on it here I'll show you let me uh let me do this with two hands <laughs> all right so I just want to show you how much this thing kind of sags down once you put it in place see so watch this oops I don't have it in all the way here all right so see how that really <laughs> kind of pushes down on it I mean that's a lot of weight to be putting on that little area I, I think something like a flat uh, I've seen ones where they have a flat plate that it sits on. It's clear like this, and then it's more in the center. I think that would have been a better way to display this. I don't really trust this at all, especially when you got it sitting on a, a shelf. I mean, over the course of time, it might slide out of there a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, look at the, how sleek that looks from the front. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. This is such a cool looking model. I love it. All right, let's get some better looks at it. All right, so I'm just going to leave it off the stand for now so I don't have to worry about it falling off. But here we can really see, look at that nice detail going on in there. They got those green uh, glow because the whole thing has kind of like a green light kind of effect inside there. You can see the paneling on there. There's that top section right over there. I love the windows. They always have a cool looking pattern on the, uh, the main windshield right up front there. Here you can see the Delta Flyer. And also the, uh, I can't remember what those things are. I think they're, I can't remember, deflector shields or something. <laughs> I don't remember. Really nice uh, treatment of the decals on here. You can see that they're nice and sharp and clean. This is also really nice looking as well. I love that clear red right in there. And this clear blue, and uh, it goes all the way through. So you could actually, you know, maybe have a light underneath it. So it looks like light's coming through there. There's the insignia. Some more of that nice detail going on right there and also some more back here yeah i love it let's take a look at the bottom here so now we can really see some really nice detail going on right in there look at that that looks really really cool that's a nice paint job they got going on can't remember if that was some kind of a hatch that opened up i'm not sure you know, I don't think I've ever seen uh, the bottom of the Delta Flyer that much, so I'm interested to see all this detail in there. That almost looks like another captain's yacht type of thing right there. Look at all that. That looks so cool. A little bit of, uh, it almost looks like there's a little bit of weathering in here, which is really nice. I think Tom Paris kind of kept this ship pretty clean, though. That, that was his baby. <laughs> Very cool looking. You can see all that going on right there. There's that blue I was telling you, you can actually, you can see through it, you know, so if you have a light on the stand, that would be kind of nice. But yeah, this is really, really awesome. I absolutely love this thing. This is the other side, so it's got the same kind of detail going on here. Man, I really wish they'd make a model kit of this. Oh, wow. This is really awesome. This may very well be my, my favorite Eagle Moss ship. I think I'm going to just not even use that stand. I just don't trust it. I'm just going to use one of these risers. They're just these plastic things that you can buy. I, I've got a bunch of these. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. They don't 
cost a whole lot and they give you a bunch of different sizes um, i'm going to glue this piece of felt on here just to make it soft and if you do do something like this use elmer's glue don't use ca glue or gorilla glue or super glue because it'll fog up the uh the uh acrylic and especially if you have it on the edges so just put some elmer's glue on there make sure it's completely dry because it'll soak through there and if you try to put this on top when it's not fully dry you're going to have uh this is your model is going to stick to that so <laughs> yeah just give it plenty of time to dry but yeah i think this will work better it's nice and soft it's not going to scratch up the paint and it gives it the illusion that it's flying which i think looks much better and it's just way more solid this this is just and it's because of how heavy this is i would say this is a better way to go yeah so yeah forget about this thing i i don't really know i think i'll just probably throw it in storage but um anyway yeah this is a really cool ship absolutely love it uh so this is the larger size one there's a smaller size one as well um, i'm pretty sure there is anyway but i prefer the larger size ships they i just feel like you know they, they just look better whenever i get any of these eagle moss ships i don't have a whole lot of eagle moss um die cast metal i have maybe a half dozen or so um, and i am currently building the enterprise d model from them that big huge one and if you are interested i am doing a series on that when I get the parts, but uh, anyway, I'm working on that as well. But this thing, this is really great. I absolutely love it. So if you can get it on sale, uh, even even better. And uh, I think it retails for about 70 or 75 bucks. I don't know. I've, I've always managed to find a good deal on these, either at conventions or uh, just if you look around. Uh, Eagle Moss oftentimes runs sales, but right. Well, I'm filming this on December 2nd. And so there's a, they're having a bunch of deals on right now. I'm getting emails virtually like twice a day from them saying, you know, hey, we're offering 15%, 20% or whatever. And, but uh, I thought this was a good one. I, I really love this thing. It's probably my, it's got to be my favorite now <laughs> from Eagle Moss. And yes, I do wish they'd make a model kit of this. Uh, <clears throat> Polar Lights, round two. Uh, let's get on it. <laughs> I really like to have a model kit of this. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Anyway, uh, that is the review for this, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I will see you on the next video. So thanks again, and have a good one.